Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com and today with this very short tutorial I'm going to be teaching a very easy thing to do getting dashboard widgets on your desktop. Now if you look around on YouTube a lot of people will tell you that the only way to do that is to go into an application called Terminal and enter a series of codes. However, there is a trick that I've learned to, to use. I'm going to activate my dashboard and here you see I have the basic dashboard. I haven't changed anything just so it's easy to look at. And we have our four widgets. Now this plus button at the bottom of the page will bring up all of your widgets. Now let's just pretend I'm on a website where I have to enter my contacts. But I don't like using address book and I don't want to keep checking on the dashboard to see that. What can I do? Watch. I'm going to click on this address book and drag it out. And as you can see, it creates it for me. Now, instead of dropping it there, I'm going to click or press whatever activates the dashboard. Now, by default, it's usually the F12 key or it may be the middle mouse key. It depends on how you've programmed your Mac. So, I'm going to click what deactivates the dashboard and as soon as I drop I can use my adjust book widget right there and it'll search for me it's exactly like having it on the dashboard however it's always on top so it's very easy to use the one difference between address book is that if just say I have Safari open as well. I'm going to have to constantly be checking this and going back and you'll see that this can go behind Safari which can be annoying. This widget will always be on top no matter what you do. So you'll always get the information you need from that widget. And there you have it. As soon as you want it back on the dashboard just go to the dashboard and it'll be there. Right there for you. And you could repeat that with any widget just by clicking here. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you subscribe. Thanks.